how to create an electronics e-commerce website on Weebly. Hey guys, welcome to this new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own online store using this platform. So let's get started by clicking on the sign up button if you want to create a new account. And if you already have an account, just go with login and type in your email or your username. Then click on next to proceed to type in your password. So just give it a few seconds to load. Then you will be able to type in your password. As you can see, then click on login. After logging in, the first step of creating our store is by choosing between these two options. If you just need a website or if you need a website with an online store. So I'm going with the second option. Then you proceed to type in a name for the store that you will be creating. So I'm just going to give it this name. You can always change the name later. Then click on continue. And then you have here an, a question and three answers. Choose the one that fits you. And the same thing with this other question. Then you proceed to choosing the category of the items that you will be seeing. So our store is about electronics. So let's see if we can find something related to that category. So here we have tick products. Let's go with this one. And if you can't find your category in this list, you just go with other. Then you click on continue. And then if you already have a store in the real world, you give them the address. If not, you just skip this step. And then you give them a few seconds to build up your store. Then you will proceed to your dashboard as you can see. And this is the dashboard. And here we have in your left, we have some sections that I'm going to explain them for you. So starting with the overview, the overview takes us to this dashboard as you can see. Then we have the website and it's where you can edit the site by clicking on this button. And also we have the domains and it's where you can set your domain name or change the one that you already have. Then we have the items section and it's where you can set items and by items we mean products. You can set your items in here. You can set also the site's categories, the categories of the items that you set before. Then you have the options, the coupons and it's where you can create the coupon codes and the gift cards also the customer reviews and the item preferences and that's it for the items section then we have the orders it's where you can see your orders or the people that make made orders in your store so you can check that in this section so just give it a few seconds to load and this is where you can see your orders Obviously, we have no orders yet. We just started this store. Then we have the fulfillment section, and it's where you can manage the pickups, the shipping, the shipping, and the pickups, and that's for the fulfillment section. Then we have the reports, and here you have the summary. If you want to see the summary of all these reports, and if you want, if you want to see each one separately, you can just go. Through each one, starting with the site's traffic, the site's activity, sources, online sales, site items, abandoned carts, and coupons. Then we have the marketing section, and it's basically where you can find everything related to growing your audience. So the same thing with this section, you have the summary. If you want to see the summary of all these items, if, and if you want to go through each one separately, you just click on each one you want starting from the email automated ads mailing lists segments setup then we have the communications section so let's close these sections and let's proceed to the communications section and it's where you can check the email and text alerts the pop-ups and the messenger also the abandoned cards and last but not least we have the settings and it's where you have your general settings if you want to change the store's information 
from the company name to the address, the email, the phone number, also. And we have the checkout, the sales taxes, and the units. So that's it for these sections. Let's go back to the overview and let's proceed to the editing phase. So just give it a few seconds to load. Then we have the edit site button. Just click on it right in here or you go to website and you will find another edit site button. And then you will be able to edit your site or change the design that you have. So just give them a second while they will build in your website. And for this setup guide, you just close it and just give it a few more seconds. It's still loading. And here you have to choose a site styles. So check these ones and see if you can find the one that fits you. So I'm just going with this one, which is the pretty basic style which is the black and white so wait for it to load and here it is after loading this is how the style looks so let's click on apply site styles and here we will be able to change everything in our site as you can see we can change the the style that we did before we can also add an image for our logo we can change the colors in this button also we can change the fonts we can also change the button's shape from pale to rounded so you can change it the way you want then we have the sides elements from the badges the buttons spacing and icon sets you can all only change these ones after you upgrade your plan from the free plan that we are using now to the paid one that the platform offers and here by scroll, scrolling down so it doesn't want to scroll down so just give it a few seconds it's still loading uh, I guess I think I need to click on done then I will be able to scroll down close this one and then you will be able to scroll down as you can see you can change everything in your store just by clicking on it or in your lift so that's it for today's video guys i just wanted to give you an idea about this platform don't forget to like the video subscribe to our channel and share the video with your friends